This is how it's like in Finland. Soon we'll be on the road again. Next stop, Brussels. True Lisbon. We're in Portugal, in Lisbon. We'll be here for a day before continuing to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I have a real good impression of this city. It seems lovely. People are super nice, like super nice. And uh, it seems that most of the, well, at least. All the customer service people, they speak pretty good English and well, I speak Spanish so it helps me get along anyway, but um, yeah, I want to come back, definitely, I want to come back one day. Go to Portugal, go to Lisbon, yeah, that's what I'm saying. When traveling for a while, you start collecting things, useful things. Like, for example, I just brushed my teeth with this toothbrush and a toothpaste. That is from Amara Hotel, Thailand, five months back. So I've been carrying that in my backpack and it was useful now. What are you doing? I'm finishing my thesis. Maybe not getting it finished today, today but I'm getting there. But at least you can always write it in Brazil. Finish them in Brazil. Huh? In yeah. Sweat in Brazil. Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro. Um, it's afternoon. That's what it is. The sun is setting in an hour. We're looking for a place to see the sunset. What is that? This is acai shake. It's made from the Brazilian berry acai. That's a very trendy superfood. Acai. It's good, it's really good. It's actually pretty nice to be watching the sunset and uh, eating this acai shake. It's really good. neighborhood called Santa Teresa it's this um, suburb that is uh, on the hill on top of the hill it used to be a real upscale neighborhood and it still is beautiful a lot of old old pretty buildings little winding streets and, and there's a tram and a lot of good restaurants but what's best of it is the view you can see the whole city from here it's really nice
traditional food of Brazil. I don't wonder why they're so fat. going to see Jesus. Not this one, but the big one, the real one. So we're gonna take a train and go see Jesus. There is something, something great about it. And there's something great about the idea that is, you know, looking over the whole city, spreading his protective arms. And the city is very impressive. Oh yeah, it the is. city is super impressive. The views are just something you can't really see anywhere else, I think. You're in the city, but you can see the nature in like such an amazing way. It's beautiful. Beautiful. You should come to Rio. Come to Rio. This is a home street on um, Saturday morning at 6 a.m. Everything is closed so it looks a bit better later on. seen so many speedos in my life as here in Copacabana. Literally most of the guys are rocking speedos here. I mean it's not just the old guys like usually in every other country it's everyone. The young guys, the kids, everyone. Speedos. Speedos. I might not be there yet on my spiritual journey, but one day, God willing, I will also become a speedo man, a speedower, a speedo brother. I'll join the speedo brothers community one day. Rio Rio, the magical Rio de Janeiro. We had a very good time. We had a very good time in Rio. It was really beautiful, and um, it was it was more beautiful than I expected. Um, it 
was like stunning beautiful it, it's such a great combination of different elements there's the ocean which is always nice there's the beaches there's the city old new buildings favelas the poor areas all that and then there are the mountains, you know, the hundreds of mountains. And they're not just mountains, but they're green mountains. So it's like green mountains, different shapes, city, tall buildings, sea, beach. Like, it's just, it works real well. There was a lot to do. Like, we were there for 10 days, but we didn't have a boring moment at all it's really really easy easy to go and see and explore it's everything's really well organized yeah the public transportation is good metro yeah. works well buses we didn't use that many of them but the one we did it it was nice air conditioned really nice uh, taxis they are safe and they are they're pretty cheap so it's like it's it's easy to move around yeah um, yeah so I guess the only probably the only downside is that the city it's not safe so anywhere you go you still need to be careful and watch around a bit and you know you can't be you can't be flashing out your iPhone or or camera so it kind of it limits you a bit and you, you you know you need to know where you can go late at night when it's dark and we didn't feel threatened at all in Govagabana area or Ipanema well pretty much in none of the places we went to but we didn't go out late at night too much but anyway so Rio definitely worth going I would actually like to go back it's one of the places you know I'd like to go back someday and and of course you know the rest of the brazil too would be nice to travel around what i'm gonna remember the best is the speedos the speedo guys they were everywhere i have to say to all the european women that are stressed about not being in bikini shape for the summer that's coming uh, don't you worry girls because the Brazilian women are all not in, in the perfect shape for wearing a bikini but they embrace the bikini anyway <laughs> the tiny teeny bikini very tiny yeah. Yeah. So, so just embrace beaches and the nature and the summer and don't worry about your looks the look yeah your looks just enjoy it yeah that is the take home message from this video vlog girls enjoy the summer and don't you worry peace out see you next time in America Well, who is this homeless looking person lying on this bed of um, newspapers? Oh, it's my wife. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Very well. This bed is very comfortable. Oh, very nice. So why are you down there? Because my back is hurting. Okay, your back is hurting. That's too bad. Hopefully it will get better since we still have another flight to go before we reach um, California. Yes. What did you just buy? I got some chewing gum from some kid who was selling this and telling that he doesn't want to be robbing people so he sells this instead. I got a soft heart. How many people have asked your money or sold you something today? Uh, I don't know, 20 something. How many people have offered you weed during this time? Uh, 20 something.